So my name's Chris and I'm the founder of Cooper King Distillery. Now we are a whiskey and gin distillery just outside of York. Um, we're entirely self-built and crowdfunded. My partner Abby and I quit our jobs about six years ago and bought one-way tickets to Australia. And when we arrived in, Tas uh, in Australia, we soon found ourselves in Tasmania, where someone there had just won uh, the accolade of making the world's best single malt whiskey. We absolutely fell in love and ended up visiting all distilleries in Tasmania. The Yorkshire food and drink scene at the moment is absolutely booming, um, distilling especially, so there, there's quite a few gin distilleries, there's some whiskey distilleries now as well, which is fantastic. As a distillery, we have a huge focus on sustainability. So the whole distillery is powered by 100% green energy. We have our own beehives on site, which we use the honey from in our gin. Uh, we source locally grown lavender as well. The barley we use is grown in Yorkshire. And when we're finished with the barley after the whiskey making process, that even goes to, be, uh, to the local farmer's cattle for feed. Is we plant a metre square of woodland up in the Yorkshire Dales for every single bottle of gin we sell and we've partnered with the Yorkshire Dales Millennium Trust and we go up with them and uh, help plant throughout the tree planting season which can be quite fresh, sort of November through to February time up in the Dales. Since we launched our first gin about 15 months ago um, we've actually been really lucky to work with some fantastic uh, chefs across Yorkshire so we distill a few spirits for Tommy Banks, Tommy and his brother James and we distill things like fresh marigold flowers that they grow at the restaurant, bring to us, we cold distill them and then they use them on their cocktail menus and we've also worked with Neil at Skosh and we developed a fantastic smoked and spiced gin which they serve at the restaurant now as well. Um, there's a few other uh, collaborations as well. So we distill, uh, we brewed a beer with Brew York using some gin botanicals and we even sent our spent gin botanicals from the distillation process to Hatsby Bakehouse and he's made some fantastic pastrami and rye bread with them. I love York for several reasons. Um, the people are really friendly. Yorkshire people are absolutely lovely. Uh, as, a, as an architect in a previous life, the architecture is obviously absolutely stunning uh, in York. Uh, one of the biggest things, though, is the sort of independent scene, which has been in York for years and been doing really well. But in the last couple of years, you've seen things like uh, Brew York really take off. You've got Spark, the container city, really progressive, absolutely fantastic place to go for food and drink. Um, and then on the food side, crikey, you've got Scosh, Partizan, you've got Tommy Banks opening up Roots. Uh, you're absolutely spoiled for choice when it comes to uh, food and drink in York. An ideal day in York for Abby and I would be breakfast and fantastic coffee at Kiosk on Fosgate, tiny little coffee shop, an absolute gem. We would then probably head to the City Art Gallery to have a mooch around there, and if the weather's nice, head to Museum Gardens for an ice cream. Then for lunch, I would probably head up to the Shambles, get some street foods, before heading over to Red Goat for a climb. Both Abby and I are keen outdoor enthusiasts. And, and I think after that, we would head to Skosh or Roots for some sharing plates and some really nice foods. And then following on, it's got to be either Brew York if we're in a beer kind of mood, or Carve the Kosh on if we fancy some nice wine. Absolutely, absolutely love those places. Have you been to Kiosk?